Higit dalawampung tindahan ang nadiskubring nagbebenta pa rin ng mga produktong pampaputi ng balat na naglalaman ng Mercury sa Pasay City. Ay- Ayan, Mercury, guys. Ha? Mercury is actually an ingredient found in a lot of unregulated whitening products. And ito, di ba sinasabi niya, 20 na tindahan sa isang lugar pa yan. Ha? So, imaginein mo na lang kung ilan pa yung mahahanap natin ng mga tindahan na nagbebenta in other areas. Sulat ng Ecoways Coalition, walong produkto noong 2010 pa ipinagbabawal na ibenta ng Food and Drug Administration ang patuloy pa rin inilalako sa mga retail store. Kabilang sa mga produktong naglalaman ng mataas na level ng mercury, ang 88 Total White Underarm Cream, Collagen Plus Vitamin E Day and Night Cream, Golden Pearl Beauty Cream, Gory Beauty Cream with Lycopene, Gory Day and Night Beauty Cream, Gory Gold 24K Beauty Cream, Jowlai Miraculous Cream, at Parley Goldie Advanced Beauty Cream. Actually, totoo to ha, kasi 2010, residente pa lang ako noon, meron na talaga kami na-encounter na products na binibenta. Minsan sa bangketa, sa mga stores na may mercury talaga. And ayoko lang i-mention ko anong brand ha, pero dun sa na-mention dun sa video, dalawa yung na-encounter ko na ginamit ng patients ko and they really had very negative side effects. In fact, imbis na pumuti yung underarms nila, parang mas lalo siyang lumala. Karamihan sa mga naturang produkto ay gawa sa Pakistan, China, Indonesia at Thailand. Ayon sa World Health Organization, masama sa kalusugan ang paggamit ng mga produktong may halong mataas na level ng mercury. Maari kasi itong magdulot ng skin rashes, skin discoloration at mycotic skin disorders. Actually, sa totoo lang, hindi lang yung skin eh. For me kasi kung skin lang, parang okay, pwede pa kasi pwede naman gumaling yan eh. Pero later on, I'll discuss, mercury has a lot of other side effects na systemic. Kung baga hindi lang pang ibabaw, meron din pang loob. So very, very important talaga to know about this. And ito ha, honestly, I'm so disappointed kasi sometimes when I scroll sa TikTok, marami pa rin nagbibenta ng mga ganitong products. Guys, please, maawa naman kayo sa mga pasyente na nabibiktima. Malamang yung iba sa inyo, siguro hindi nyo alam, pero ngayon na alam nyo na, itigil nyo na yan kasi hindi talaga siya maganda. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Whether it's about dermatology or sharing a piece of my personal world, I'm here to bring authenticity and knowledge straight to you. So, for today's episode, pag-uusapan natin, skin whitening cream. So, ayan na, ito naman, walang kamatayang skin whitening naman. But this time, ang pag-uusapan natin is a particular component called mercury. So, okay, is it effective in whitening? Yes. But is it safe? Yun, I think, is equally important and the answer is no. So, we're gonna break down the science, talk about the risks, and aalamin natin kung bakit hindi siya okay for you. Unang-una, papaano ba at bakit nakakaputi ng balat ang mercury? Okay, let's go back a little bit uh, to the past. Okay, historically kasi talaga guys, in the 1900s, na-discover nila na yung mercury pala that is contained in other household products nakakaputi. So, ginamit siya to lighten the skin in the early 1900s. But, as early as 1950s to the 1970s, a lot of medical journals started publishing negative side effects of mercury causing toxicity to the body. Okay, and in the 1970s, the US FDA even banned the use of mercury in products, limiting the amount to one part per million lang pwede. So, mercury as an ingredient is a tyrosinase inhibitor, kaya siya nag-work. Pero, instead of just fading dark spots, pinapatay niya yung melanocytes that produce na melanin. And this is the reason why hindi siya maganda number one. And apart from that, mercury kasi accumulates in your body. So pag pinahide mo siya, even in small amounts, every day, regularly, they accumulate in the body and they go to other parts like your kidneys, sometimes your brain. And even if um, you get pregnant, for example, Pwede siyang tumawid sa placenta and pwede mo siyang mabigay sa anak mo. So, yun yung um, importance of really knowing if the products that you're using contain mercury. Lalo na dun sa mga pregnant or dun sa mga nagnanais maging pregnant. Remember that when you're using products containing mercury, it accumulates in the tissue. And it can cross the placenta. Ibig sabihin, pwede mong mabigay yung mercury sa unborn child mo and it can cause a lot of problems. Okay? So please, please, please be careful kung ano yung ginagamit mo. So in summary, whitening effect, yes. Healthy skin, no. Safe, never. 
Okay? So, no to mercury-containing product. And what's worse, guys, is once the melanocytes are destroyed, they don't grow back. So, you're not just permanently whitening your cells, you're actually destroying and damaging your pigment cells. Pero, bakit marami pa rin produkto available kahit alam naman natin na hakasama ito? Unang-una, unregulated selling online. Most especially. So, I'm talking about Lazada, Shopee, TikTok Shop, Facebook Marketplace, ano pa ba, kahit yung mga Temu, even yung mga Viber groups, Telegram groups, ganyan. So, ito talaga I think yung number one. Kasi nga, walang control. Hindi natin na-regulate, hindi natin screen yung mga produkto na binibenta. Platforms don't really have the capacity to check each and every product. So, maraming nakakalusot. Pangalawa, marami pa rin talaga sa atin yung gusto ng instant or mabilisang whitening. While for me, there's really nothing wrong with wanting lighter, even-toned skin, as long long as you do it the right way, using the right products. And guys, come on, we always talk about this. Wala talagang instant. Usually, it will take at least 8 to 12 weeks for products to work. Pangatlo is cheap price points and accessibility. Dahil madali siyang mabili, kung saan-saan mo pwede makuha, tapos very affordable yung price niya. Of course, it can be tempting. Imagine mo, pinamisan ka ng pampaputi, tapos sobrang mura, tapos madaling bilhin, di ba? So pag ganyan, guys, magtaka na kayo. You're always getting what you pay for. And lastly, but also equally important, is lack of awareness. I would like to believe talaga guys na yung mga nagbibenta ng mga gantong products, hindi nila alam na delikado pa yung mercury or hindi nila alam na yung binibenta na may mercury. Kaya meron tayong ganito. Really, our goal is to educate the consumers and even the sellers that get to know your products. Alamin nyo yung binibenta niyong produkto. Alamin nyo yung lamanin. Alamin nyo kung makakasama ba to more than makakabuti siya. And mind you guys, these products are actually banned and can be considered illegal to sell them especially by the Philippine FDA and other international organizations. Paano naman natin malalaman kung yung binili natin na produkto ay pwedeng may mercury? So according to the WHO, even in the 2020, sobrang dami pa rin kumakalat na products na may mercury. So number one red flag is very vague or unclear yung ingredients list or parang may mga nakalagay lang na terms like whitening complex or mga mega lightening. So pag ganun, medyo magtaha ka na. Number two is imported products but without FD approval or walang English translation. So kung hindi mo nga maintindihan kung ano nakasulat doon, kung ako sa'yo, no, no na. Kasi you really have to know kung ano yung pinapahid mo sa mukha mo. Third is strong or metallic smell. So when you open your product and you get a whiff of it and parang ang weird ng amoy niya, hindi siya parang pang skincare, huwag na natin siyang gamitin because most likely it could contain, kung hindi man mercury, some other irritating ingredient. Number four, sobrang bilis um effect. So meron mga products na parang pagkalagay mo pa lang in three to five days, bigang wow, napapansin mo na sobrang puti na niya. Hmm, medyo magtaha ka na kasi... Walang safe and effective na whitening ingredient that whitens in just three days. And number five, burning or stinging sensation upon application or after a few days of application. So, yung skin natin matalino yan ha. It tells us if it doesn't want anything on our skin. So, pag nakita nyo na na after a few days of application na parang hindi na maganda yung condition ng balat nyo, it means that it doesn't like what you apply to it and you definitely should stop using that. Number six, if the package looks generic, o kaya alam mo yun yung parang mali yung spelling or kung ano-ano mga nakalagay doon, yung before and after, hindi yung realistic, medyo iwasan na natin yung mga ganong produkto. And lastly, yung mga nakalagay na melanin blocker or insta white. Una-una, ayun naman natin i-block yung melanin because it's important, di ba? And pangalawa, wala namang instant. And I keep telling my patients that. Actually, alam nyo meron available na mercury testing kits online na, di ba? Merong nabibentang ganyan. Kaya lang, actually, I'm not sure if they are quite reliable 100%. So, kung ako sa inyo, don't gamble. It's still best to consult a professional in skin, like a board certified dermatologist, to know how to effectively and safely lighten your complexion and even your skin tone. Okay, now, dito na tayo sa medyo seryosong part. Actually, pinagpapawisan ako just preparing for this. Pero trigger warning doon sa mga kumakain dyan or sa mga sensitive, ipapakita ko naman next yung mga nangyari doon sa mga tao na gumamit ng mga produkto na merong mercury. O di ba nakakatakot? So kung alam mo na pwede mangyari yan sa'yo, syempre di ka nagagamit ng mercury. And explain ko kung bakit. Okay, number one, di ba sinabi ko that when you use mercury, even in small amounts, they accumulate in your tissues. Meaning, naiipon sila sa balat mo, sa bloodstream mo, and they can go to other parts of the body. So number one is yung tinatawag natin nephrotoxicity. Ibig sabihin nun, toxic siya sa kidneys natin. So guys, yung kidneys natin, it's very efficient. It can flush out wastes, toxins, but when you continuously use an ingredient like mercury, syempre na-overwhelm din siya. Hindi niya na kinakayanan. And it can cause 
kidney problems. So, number one, very, very important kasi ayaw natin na madamage yung kidneys natin. Pangalawa is neurotoxicity, meaning it's toxic to the brain. Because mercury can cross the blood-brain barrier. Pag naipon siya sa brain natin, it can cause tremors, behavioral issues, coordination problems, memory fog, and it is especially dangerous in young children and fetuses. Third, skin irritation, skin thinning, skin pigmentation, skin discoloration, and sometimes, pag sobrang lala, it can even lead to scarring. So, guys, ito, hindi ko na to kailangan explain. Nakita nyo naman sa mga pictures. But why risk it, diba? Nagpapaputi ka nga, nagpapaganda ka, tapos damage mo lang yung balat mo. Number four, it can cause permanent pigment loss. So, yung mga areas ng balat mo na nasobrahan ng mercury, pwede magiging na siyang super white. Alam mo yung parang vitiligo-like lesions. And, hindi naman siya pantay-pantay. So, imbis na maging pantay yung kulay ng balat mo, magkakaroon ka pa ng patsya-patsya na puti. And ito, gusto ko lang itong dagdag ha. Yung number five is cross-contamination. So, even if ikaw lang yung gumagamit ng produkto na may mercury. For example, you use a towel or for example, um, may hinawakan kang product na may mercury tapos humawa ka ng isang bagay. Pwede itong malipat sa mga kasama mo sa bahay, lalo na pag may mga bata kang anak, young kids, and even maybe your your grandparents or your spouse or whatever, even if they don't use the products, if they get in contact with objects na ginamit mo, na nahawakan mo, na nalipat mo yung product, they can also have mercury accumulation in their bodies. Now, kung gumagamit ka ng produkto na to at napanood mo tong video ko, ano nang gagawin mo? Okay, don't panic. Number one, discontinue using the product. Siyempre, alam mo na nga na may mercury siya, stop na siya agad-agad. Number two, consult a professional in skin or an expert in skin like a board-certified dermatologist. Number three, you can opt to get lab tests done. Lalo na kung matagal na matagal mo na ginagamit yung produkto. So I'm not really sure what lab tests are available but I know na sometimes urinalysis or blood extraction pwede. And number four, ito, pakiusap lang. If you know of a product na merong mercury, please report to the proper authorities. Kasi as long as it's out there, as long as it's being sold and being used, mas marami pang mayiging biktima ng mercury-related cases. And this video is not just for consumers. Ay, yung mga nagbebenta dyan, yung mga sellers, please, now that you know that some of these products I mentioned, yung na-mentioned kanina sa start ng video, contain mercury, stop na natin. Tigil na natin yung pagbenta, okay? Be discerning, be aware, alamin mo kung ano yung laman ng mga binibenta mo. Okay, so actually medyo nabigatan ako sa topic na to because skin lightening and whitening is a very, very controversial topic. Um, we're always promoting healthy skin, radiant skin, pero... We cannot naman ignore yung desire ng people to have an even skin tone. So, I really thought it was important to talk about it. Especially because ang dami-dami talaga dyan mga products na unregulated, tapos hindi natin alam kung ano yung laman. So, alam ko sobrang haba pa ng usapan na to, and maybe I wasn't able to tackle everything. So, I am opening the comment section or whatever. Kung gusto nyo meron pa tayong pag-usapan, kung gusto nyo mag-share ng experiences nyo, kung meron kayong mga kilala or kayo mismo na nakagamit nito, Please feel free to put them all in the comments below. I, as always, I encourage to continue the conversation. And syempre naman guys, if you found this important, inspiring, or educational, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications. So until next time, see you again guys. Sana hindi kayo magsawa mag-support ng channel ko and more education for all of us. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs>